Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing my favorite everyday jewelry pieces. I've been especially enjoying them lately. They've just been making me feel a little bit more put together. <laughs> you guys caught a good glimpse of them in my uh, loungewear lookbook video, so I am just wearing them around the house right now. I just think at a time like this, it's all about those little pleasures, those little luxuries that can make you feel good. And for me right now, that is these jewelry pieces. So my jewelry style, I would say, is dainty, minimal, and and stackable if you can use that word to describe jewelry style but I just mean that I like a lot of small dainty pieces that you can kind of pile on that don't look like too much like it just looks right which is funny because I think about like my high school jewelry style wore a lot of really random chunky colorful pieces the first piece that comes to mind was not colorful but it was this big chunky black polka dotted ring that I had <laughs> why I don't know but anyways you're not gonna see any of that today you're gonna see a lot of gold pieces that's just what I prefer I think it just works best with my complexion and it's just my style it's just what I prefer and you're also gonna see a lot of Missouri I think all but one piece isn't Missouri um, this video isn't sponsored at all but all these pieces were gifted to me over the last I would say like three years ish they have sent me all these pieces to feature on my instagram over the years so i've accumulated a good amount of pieces and i absolutely love the brand so yeah a lot of my favorites just happen to be missouri but yeah that's not going to impact what i say or share about the jewelry if i have a little problem with one of the pieces that i'm going to share with you i will absolutely be honest about it and tell you guys i'm wearing everything but one piece so we'll start with that one because i am very likely to forget it first piece is this pair of earrings and i will do close-ups i know it's probably like hard to see from here this is the first piece this pair of pearl earrings and I absolutely love these and I'm gonna say that about every piece they're super dainty which checks off that box for me and they're just so cute like they're so cute <laughs> I love wearing these with outfits that are either more like neutral browns because then I have this little pop of white on my ears and I just like that contrast and then I also really like wearing them with outfits that are more um, either feminine and like romantic and yeah feminine and romantic it's kind of hard to explain because i just look at a piece and i just get a vibe off of it and that tells me how i should wear the piece and it's really hard to explain that process in my head so if i can find pictures of the vibe then i will put it on the screen so my only issue with these is that they they not only look dainty but they are dainty themselves like every time i hold them i feel like i need to be like Ooh, like really careful with them the metal that the pearls are on is super bendy and I get that obviously it had to be a piece of metal that was like malleable enough for them to bend into that shape so yeah it's just really bendy so when I first got them putting it on sometimes like you're a little rough and you can end up bending the earring out of shape so it's just something to be careful about it's not that big of a deal you can bend them back but I just have this fear of them snapping on me <laughs> one time so I do try to be super careful with these that still doesn't stop me from wearing them day to day like I said I really like them and um, I'm just a little bit more careful when I wear them on to the second piece which is another pair of earrings the ones I am wearing right now these are the boyfriend earrings I love 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 they're easily my most worn jewelry piece I just love them to death they're just so easy to wear every day and I really do throw these on practically every day unless I'm wearing the first pair that I showed you guys I'm mostly wearing these every day um, I just love how minimal they are and they have some like structure and kind of like a masculine edge to them I, I think that's why they named them the boyfriend earring I really get that vibe from them and what I really like about them is that because they're so minimal and just kind of like a blank canvas I think it's a really good earring to pair with other earrings I really do want to get my second holes pierced so I will be doing that but yeah if you do have your second or even third hole pierced I think this is a nice earring to have in your first and then just add like really cute minimal studs I think that would be a really nice look and that's what I'm planning to do and for as long as I've had them and for the amount that I wear them they've stayed in such good condition so I think those ones especially are a really good investment piece on to piece number three I guess we'll just move down from earrings to necklaces so this necklace I scoured the website to find the name for you guys but I couldn't find it I guess it's just been removed from the collection which I'm so sad about because this is such a good piece and if I remember correctly I'm pretty sure it's part of like this boyfriend collection so it goes along with these earrings this one is a little bit more recent than the earrings and more of a recent favorite too because oh my gosh I'm so gutted like the British say because I had the zodiac necklace and then 
oh I don't remember the name of the other one but I will put a picture here so these two were my absolute go-to favorite wore them every day so much so that the zodiac one was really starting to look rough I wasn't very careful with that one and now I seem to have lost them I can't find them anywhere and I honestly could cry <laughs> But yeah, if you don't have anything from Missouri and you're wanting to get something, I would 100% recommend the Zodiac pendant. I just love that piece. It's just, it's everything that I want in a jewelry piece. It was a nice, long, but obviously an adjustable necklace. Pendant size was perfect. It's one of those pieces that just looks good layered with everything. And it has a little bit of that sentimental value because you can either like choose your own Zodiac or maybe someone else's. I really hope I find it otherwise I swear I'm gonna get it again. I like it that much. But yeah, anyway, so back to this necklace. <laughs> so this necklace has now kind of replaced that little circle one that you guys saw in the picture. And I'm stacking it with this one, which is the Tarot Moon necklace, I believe. So these two are my new favorite pairing. I'm replacing my other one. I'm so sad about that now, but I do really love these. I really do like the way they look together. This one in particular, I like the small little detail. It has a moon on it and these little stars. It's super cute. So I like that detail. I like jewelry where like from a distance, it just looks like a plain pendant and then you get closer and there's just more detail and interest to the piece, which is really nice. That was piece three and four and my current favorite necklace combination. On to the next one which are rings so I'll start with my right hand so the first piece on my right hand um, I always wear these two together because it's I love and now I just need a U ring <laughs> so the evil eye ring is from Missouri I really like this one just because of the little pop of blue this is a much better way of incorporating color into your jewelry than what I used to wear <laughs> so I really like this one it's super dainty and again I've had this one for super long and it's worn really well except I have dropped it a few times and again I've had this one for a while and I will admit I need to be better with my jewelry. Just the ring is a little bent right around this area but doesn't really bother me. It fits perfectly fine, so it's all good. And then the next ring is the one piece that isn't from Missouri, is my love ring, and I absolutely love this one. <laughs> um, this one was gifted to me by my mom. I thought it was solid gold, but I think it might just be gold plated because some areas are looking a little rough and I can see some silver underneath, so I'll have to check with her, I'm not sure. But anyways, it spells out love, and the O is in the shape of a little heart, and it's so cute. I also love even like the font and the way the word love is written. I think it's really nice and it adds some edge to a piece that is quite feminine and girly one. This one is definitely sentimental to me. Hoping to have this one around for a long time. So that one's super special. I thought I lost it one time and I... Tears tears so we're very careful with that one so on my left hand we have another two rings this is the oldest of the two if this one is also part of that boyfriend collection so it matches the earrings that I'm wearing I really like this one it's just simple minimal stackable it checks off all my jewelry requirements I really like the thickness as well I just like that even worn on its own it's just like a nice statement on a finger. I don't know exactly how to explain it, but hopefully you guys understand what I mean. This to me is a little bit more of a masculine-ish piece, but I really do wear it with everything. Feminine, masculine, it's always on my finger, and you can tell it's always on my finger because it looks super battered. This one is the one I am most disappointed with in terms of longevity. I believe I got this one maybe like midway through the year last year, so, so not too long. I'd say like six, seven, eight, months ish I do wear this a ton but I am disappointed with how it's worn it's looking super battered but I still do enjoy wearing it I'm not gonna lie I just say that it adds character the next piece is this one it is the croissant dome ring it is my most recent piece from Missouri I think I've only had it for really a few weeks but it's made it into this video so that speaks volume so they released this collection quite a little while ago and I was just like I want everything. Everything in that collection is just stunning, beautiful, just everything you want in a piece or everything I want in a piece anyways. And I really just couldn't decide which piece to get because I just wanted everything. In the collection, there is a cuff, 
Um, there's several styles of earrings. Um, I believe there's two different, if not three even, styles of rings. Um, there's a bracelet and I don't have any bracelets actually to show you guys. So that's something I wanted to add to my collection. But then I was like, oh, I want more rings to stack. So I was really in such a debate about it, which is why I never ended up purchasing a piece. And then finally the day came where this ring was on the list of items that I could pick for uh, another collaboration. So obviously I jumped at the chance. I ended up getting it and I absolutely adore this piece. Every time I look at it, I just feel like modern elegance, croissant, Paris romance like those are the words that come to my head and it's just everything i wanted and this one i am trying to be very very careful with i don't want it to end up looking like my boyfriend stacker i think the roughened up look looks okay with the boyfriend ring because it's kind of that vibe but i really don't think that would suit this ring so i'm trying to be really careful with it and this one i don't wear so much around the house to be honest i've worn it just to shoot or when i'm filming a video but i don't just keep it on all day like, i'm really trying to baby this one I can see a few scratches already at the bottom. Is it me? Am I like super sloppy or like what am I doing with my hands all day? I don't know. Let me know if you happen to have any majority pieces or just other rings that um, that's happening to you guys as well. But anyways, we are trying to baby this one as much as we can because it is the baby of our current family. We love her so much. <laughs> so those were all my current favorite jewelry pieces. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know which piece of mine was your favorite or let me know in the comments which of your pieces is your favorites. I'm always looking for more. I definitely want to grow my collection, so leave that in the comments. If you want to keep watching more videos, you can click here or here, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!